Day Game Design, EGS Productions at Motor City Comic Con 2015 with Ken Kurzinger, right? That's right. Yes, I didn't mess up the name. You nailed it. Awesome. Um, so you played Jason Voorhees in Freddy vs. Jason, correct? That's right. Yes, I did. I remember going to see that movie when I was in high school with a buddy of mine. Uh, he seen all the, the oh God, the Friday 13th movies, and I never saw a single one of them. And I saw that one for the first time, and I was a Freddy fan. And I'm watching it, and I go like, this is a lot of comedy for a horror film. <laughs> It's a bit campy, but I think uh, you know people sort of expect that a little from these movies. But uh, the best part about Freddy vs. Jason was you didn't have to see all the Elm Streets or all the Friday the Thirteenth to enjoy the movie. But if you had, there's still those juicy little tidbits that you know from the other movies that they would throw in for those really dedicated fans. No, I, I really enjoyed it. Like the, the, they had their dark moments, especially when. Uh, Youthful Jason is lying in the pool, like with water draining right. from him, and, and Freddy's holding his claw right yeah. next to his temple. Mm -hmm. And like that moment was just like super dark. And it was just like, what is going on here? Because I never saw the Friday the Thirteenth films at it's, all. It's funny how a uh, you know super killer like Jason can come across as sy sympathetic mm -hmm. in the in Freddy vs. Jason, but somehow he managed to do that. So uh, it kind of added a new dimension to the character. Um, what else have you been working on recently? Anything new? Exciting? Well, you can check out uh, Joyride Free. I play Rusty Nail in that. Uh, it's on Netflix now, so uh, have a look at that. And uh, I've got a movie that hasn't come out yet uh, that I did for a friend of mine, another stuntman turned director, uh, Laurel Chartrand, called uh, Blackburn. And I did that with uh, another friend of mine, Brad Lurie, who is one of the Michael Myers. And uh, so you can uh, check out Blackburn to make something up. Now, have you ever, like, if you had a pick, other than Jason, out of any of the horror film genres, what character would you, like, jump at the chance to play? I mean, if I could go back, probably like a, like a Frankenstein or, you know, a Dracula. I think it'd be cool to have a big, tall Dracula. Now, would you like to do, like, a classic black and white Dracula and Frankenstein? Um, or would you like to do more? I'd like to do a modern, more, more modern, modern yeah, version. more modern version of it. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Now, are you like a fan of Penny Dreadful? Uh, no, not really. You know, to be honest, I, I, I really enjoyed horror growing up. I, I lean more towards sci-fi now, yeah. and uh, and I, I'm actually a huge Western fan. Oh, you are? Yeah, I, I when I was in university, I had uh, instead of having like Playboy playmates pinned up on the wall, I had Clint Eastwood and uh, John Wayne. <laughs> My, I grew up on uh, John Wayne films because uh, my dad wouldn't watch them nonstop. Right. I'd watch yeah. Chisholm, sure. Rooster, and like oh, like True Grit and yeah. all that stuff. I'd yeah. watch those on a loop every weekend. We'd pop into Western on Sunday yeah. and we'd watch it. And it's just amazing how you bring that up. It's like it well, brings one, back memories. One of my favorite things that I did was uh, I worked on uh, Gunsmoke: Return to Dodge. I don't know if you remember the old Gunsmoke TV Gunsmoke. series, but I got to do James Arness's Fast Car. Yeah. Uh, so I got to double him doing his fast draw, which is you know pretty cool for me. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've worked on a western. I, I'd like to do that. Too. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, since we're here, is there any uh, charities or organizations that are near near to you that you'd like to let your fans know, or any organizations that you work with that you, their, your fans should know? About? Well, I, you know, I uh, I sponsor a couple of kids with the uh, uh, Christian Children. Uh, organization. I would urge anybody who uh, can contribute anyway to uh, to a charity of whatever their choice is to do so. Pay it forward. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for taking the time. My pleasure. But anyway, boys and girls, I'm Nate from Motor City Comic Con 2015, and I'm with Ken Kurzinger. Right? Yeah. Didn't mess it up. And I'll talk to you next time.